Hello, and welcome back, folks, to another Singleton episode with the Mardu Board Wipes deck. We had a sad loss last time, but we're still 3 and one We're still on the way. And also, I noticed that Authority of the Consoles, apparently their authority is to turn off the light switch. Anyways, we're playing this Board Wipe Tribal. Wow, the lens really stretched far. So we're playing all the board wipes, all the destruction, and occasionally land something that wins. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get ourselves up to four. Uh, export list is down in the description if you want to make it for yourself or want at least, you know, something to work with. Let's do it! Let's see if we can get there! The odds have decreased somewhat, but I'm sure that uh, we'll get there. We'll get the rest of the way. Cyanide, don't worry. It's already in his mouth. It's ready to go. Cyanide tablet ready, and it's going to be popped any second now. We'll just kind of close his jaw. It'll be an easy victory. So with that, our opponent is on the play. We have some sweltering sun, so double red. Um, and unlicensed uh, for some removal. So single target, ready. Multi-target. Oh, well, there's our second red. Um, okay, so with that, we got to consider double black. Scavenger Grounds, Adventurous Impulse. Our opponent on a slow start, but probably big creatures and sweltering suns is less likely to be functional. Can we get there with that? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, we don't need double black right away. How about we go snag that white for our baffling end? Maybe uh, they have something on three that's relevant for us. And if they have a Brontu to deal with baffling end, whatever, um, it's fine. Okay, so. They have this on two and they missed the land drop, folks. Baffling End is acceptable enough to just deal with their uh, situation as it stands right now, so off you go! We'll see if we can get to that instant speed. Branch Walker, less of a problem into a Naturalize that they've been, even though they could get a 3 3 out of a Naturalize. <laughs> We're just gonna hang in there. A 3 2, eh, whatever. <laughs> They might be stuck and we might actually have to fire off, but I would rather save this unlicensed disintegration for something that matters more. The sweltering sun's probably this turn. Blow this stuff up. Since they're still stuck on two, probably the best time. And since we're facing a gigantic green deck, uh, the only thing we're actually taking out with sweltering suns is likely to be mana dorks and the occasional something else. We have a Fumigate for later. We do need the double white for it, but I'm sure it'll be okay. <clears throat> Bestiary. That's an annoying card for our opponent to enjoy. Eldest Reborn. Probably an easy way to deal with the Hydra as well if they go all in for it. Let's just let them do their scry garbage. We'll find the answer eventually for that Bestiary, I'm sure. And if we don't, well, it's going to be a fun game. Rose's Monument, oh my! Our opponent is setting up. And we draw the Memorial to War so that we can eventually take out their stuff, although they are likely scrying to land. So it's going to have... Oh, Haship Oasis is relevant. Bristling Hydra! Pays the green and the light. Well, how about we just blow it up now? While well, we still can. Uh, Eldest Reborn, later sort of thing. Off it goes. I want the freedom, in case they have nothing, to uh, Memorial to War um, right now, actually. This is the time to do it. During their upkeep. Explode that. 
Slice and twain, they say. All right, cool. So they got a 3-3. We don't care about a 3-3. Not too much, anyway. They got a follow-up for this 3-3? They do not. <clears throat> okay, well, fair enough. How about we gaunty them? It seems good enough, right? Gaunty? I mean, it's a cool top deck. And if they can deal with Gaunty, get in a decent attack, whatever, then fine. Well, that just sounds fun. That gets us a memorial to war back. <laughs> and we don't want them getting Bristling Hydra back, so it's relevant enough. Land of War Elves, pay the green. Get the 5-5. Five five. We can stop the 5-5. Five five. We can't stop everything, though. If it's their only creature, then whatever. Oh, Cultivator's Caravan makes things complicated. Yeah, uh, how about no? How about you just die, Mr. Bond? A Manolith. Or the Mending of Dominaria and have a lot of fun. We actually get Evolving Wilds alongside that, don't we? Cataclysmic Gear Hulk actually wrecks most of their board. Aside from the Land of War Elves. That's even more relevant. How about we do that? They got three artifacts out. They get to keep one. So how about you make a tough decision now? Keeps the caravan. Needs the mana hard. And we still got Fumigate at the end of the day. Oops, you say. <laughs> Grow from the ashes. Draws a bunch of land. We gotta be careful of that, of course. Helm of the Host. Ouch. But if they have no creatures, what does Helm of the Host do? Nothing. So Mending a Dominaria also gets us back Gaunty. And we steal more stuff from their deck. We're not in a spot where uh, things are... Well, we have Vigilance, so how about we get in? Mending a Dominaria will make sure that whatever happens that goes wrong will uh, turn around real quick. We'll be fine. Get Gaunty back? What did we lose in that? Land and Karn. But I mean, they come back. Is this a vital force? You're a problem. The land shall conquer you. Mostly because uh, we have to find a way to get Eldest Reborn down to uh, make it all happen. You're gonna Helm of the Host of Forest? I mean, okay. <laughs> Congratulations on your new forest. No, it doesn't make it a creature. <laughs> uh, do this for now. Keep life total high. They can punk us with big hits at any time, so we kind of just got to watch out. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk back. <laughs> And then they have to decide between Cultivator's Caravan and Helm of the Host. The Eldest Reborn doesn't help us here as much as I'd like. Think, uh... Hmm. <laughs> Our opponent has created a situation for us. That's okay. Um... We'll have all the land in the world on third chapter of Mending. So let's just make sure they have nothing left here. Or, you know, diminish their things. They have to sacrifice a creature and an artifact. We have to sacrifice nothing.
Will this do it? Yeah, that's expected. But a creature's gotta go, right? Or is it Nodland? Nodland. Never mind. Pounce! Okay. Discard a card. Well, we don't need Torment of Hail. Well, we might need Torment of Hailfire after the third chapter of Mending goes off. Okay. Relevant. I don't think Yehenny's expertise is where we want to be. Oh, you dirty son of a... Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We're stuck on mana. Our opponent was stuck on mana, I'd like to add. He's ramping. He's ramping with the helm of the host. He can make land or else, but no. Yeah, that sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just can't do everything. We can, however, fumigate now and cast down uh, any follow-up for now. I'm going to have to go with that plan. Blow everything up. We'll get to Nyssa eventually, somehow. <laughs> I don't know how yet. From ashes, life. Okay, that's actually relevant. What's he choose? He chooses land or elves to bring back with mending. And servant of the conduit. Interesting. Okay. I need these guys to die. So that I can Eldest Reborn that stupid freaking... <laughs> Get rid of Servant. Like, our only answer right now is the Eldest Reborn to Nyssa. One, two, three, four, five, plus two. Well, yeah, we're just so much short right now. I think I might have to rely on a Gaunti play. Uh, get the Manolith plus Gaunti. And see what they have to offer. We have Bantu's Last Reckoning at the end of the day, which we may need. Uh, Gift of Paradise seems relevant. Embuscade is also kind of relevant. But he can just uh, plus the Nissa. Uh, scale Behemoth seems weak. I'm going to get the Paradise, actually. Let's just get our mana going good. So I'm trying to set up so that at least we can Bantu's Last Reckoning at the end of the day. Do not blow up my mana. Seriously. You're not blowing up a mana rock. That's not happening. No way. Yeah, I won't have time to... Like, I have to keep my life total high, so I have to actually deal with the forest. Or that happened. Uh, our opponent's annoying me so much right now. So much! We just can't seem to get there. Also, was that a fight mechanic? Oh! Oh! We finally draw never. We finally draw never. Took long enough. Okay, so gift of paradise planes. Gets our life total back up a little bit. 
Never Nissa, because good God, that woman. <laughs> Off you go. How rude. I know the mending goes off. Doomfall's hand. Deal with the crap in there. Beneath the sands are Bronto. Well, we'll deal with Bronto. <clears throat> so that he can't deal with Eldest Reborn like it. What like with that, so whatever. He gets some um, lands back. He actually got zero lands back? No, he got, uh... He got something. Run the Lonely King! Reach. That's a big boy. We have to Bantu's Last Reckoning. Like, now. <laughs> because he helmed the host and could have taken us out all at once. <sighs> Alright. We can't really torment of Hailfire, can we? One... Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not even close to enough. Okay. I think we have to Bantu's Last Reckoning right now. No questions asked. Yeah. That's a little too frightening. And I think we gotta fire out you. Tap down our mana. If he's not afraid of it, he's not afraid of it. And we just win. Or we recover. Take your pick. What is it? This sets up for Torment of Hailfire if he takes the damage. He does not take the damage. Okay. And we do not draw land. Apparently those things don't exist. Scaled Behemoth. Uh, we're in a bad way, folks. We're in a bad way. Because he found a Scaled Behemoth that we did not take. Yeah. We're in a bad way. There's only so much we can do. Like, not drawing the answer for Nyssa for that long, and speaking of which, never drawing... Look at how many lands our opponent has! And they were screwed off the start. Now we're screwed, we can only cast so many things, and they're multi-spelling. Don't ancient animus me right off the get-go. We're screwed. Our opponent is BMing us, by the way, right now. Yeah, okay, screw you, you're, you're BMing. Ugh. Land doesn't exist. I figured a 6-6 six, six first strike should have a strong chance to deal with most things. Not to be the case. Not to be the case. It was uh, pretty bad there. Deck kind of just pooped. And our opponent just kept gassing up. Like we had to deal with Nyssa. And we couldn't deal with Nyssa. And she ran away with the game. Obviously, right? There's only so much we have, only so many tools we have. All right, well, we're at two losses. Got some unlucky stuff. The big beefy creatures, big beefy creatures, just a little bit too much. Maybe I should have played Eldritch Reborn uh, when I had the chance, maybe. Well, it's a possibility. In any case, yeah, they always had a mana dork for Nyssa at all times, that we couldn't actually use it properly. This is why I hate the Eldest Reborn, is because it's never good as long as there's two targets. Uh, one of them, only one of them is relevant. <laughs> oh well. So, let's hope that we don't get the third loss next time. Hope? Eh, eh, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Well, cross your fingers that we get there, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.